Hello my lovelies, happy, happy Tuesday. I hope you're all okay, I hope everybody is well. Um, I'm going to be completely honest, uh, I have prepped nothing for today. We're going to have a little experiment with an idea that's been in my head for a little while and we're going to do it together because um, obviously I had class on Saturday and then it was um, Elaine's funeral yesterday so um, Phil and I catered, um, catered it so it was, we were crazy busy all day Saturday and then yesterday morning and then the funeral and all the rest of it so I just didn't get chance to prep anything for this this uh, little live today so we're gonna have a play together all right you're gonna have to excuse I don't know if this is gonna work this is something that's been in my head for a little while it's a what if you know and you know I love a what if <laughs> so uh, we're gonna do that um I will do the challenge post when I get back over the shop okay I um, I've written them all out well, no, that's a lie. I haven't written all of the names out. I've written about 90% of the names out. And then I realised what the time was. I was like, oh, I've got to get over, go over and do the one o'clock. <laughs> so I will do that when I go back to the shop, okay, this afternoon. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. I've got an awful cough. Um, it's oh, asthma. I think it's the pollen at the moment. Asthma's, my asthma's playing up terribly. So how are you all? Everybody okay? Who's coming online? Who's there? Hi, Anne. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Jean. Hi, Eileen. Hi, Kate. Hello everybody, hi, oh, you're all, all your comments are coming through now, so we're going to have a little play, alright, and I hope this works, we're going to see, we're going to see together whether this works, uh, like I said, it's something that's been in my head for a while, this is, we're going to use a charm pack, okay, so um, I've got one that uh, got taken apart on um, her chanda, <laughs> I can't, uh, Crate and Craft, sorry, I keep saying her chanda, hi Lindy Lou, um, but can't really sell it because it's not in the right order and I can't get it back together properly so we're going to use this this is the land of enchantment one um, what we're going to do is we're going to start with four squares so I want four different ones I want four different colors so let's have one of those and you could do this with I think you can do this with any size square though so um, let's have something with a bit of blue in it and Let's have, um, let's have like a, no, oh yeah, there's a, there's a red, and let's pick another colour. Is there like a, yeah, a yellowy one? There we go. We're going to go with the like four sort of primary ones to start with. Okay. I'm hoping this is going to work. <laughs> We're going to see anyway. And I'm going to, it's like a stacking whack type thing. For those of you who've done stacking whack before, I'm going to lie all those up like that. Okay. And I'm going to cut these in half. So, uh, hi Ali, hello darling. Um, so we're going to, I'm going to, obviously they're five inch squares. I think this would work, I think it would work in with any size square. So we're going to try this. And I'm going to cut it down so that it's two and a half by five. Like that. Okay. There we go. And then all I'm going to do, on, I'm going to leave one pile like that. And I'm going to put this pile, one of the top one, on the bottom like that okay and then we're going to pair these up so i'm going to put them right sides together basically i wanted to make um like rectangles back you know back into squares rectangles like this but striped ones so we'll put them right sides together so they're all different colors now so those two are going to go together and then these two are going to go together hi lorraine hi jenny hello um there we go those two are going to go together like that and then these two, like I said, I'm not even sure if this is going to work, but we're going to we're going to go with it. I, uh, I normally, as you know, would uh, prep stuff, but I just didn't have time. Um, I just I ran out of time. So I'm going to stitch all those together with a quarter inch seam allowance. We're going to go over to the machine. There we go. Hi, Marion. How are you? Lovely. Um, and we're just going to stitch them together again on the long, long line. There we go. All the way down there. We had a lovely, lovely class on Saturday. Did the French Roses class um, with uh, a lovely group of ladies on Saturday. Oh, they were so pretty. Some of the ones that were coming out were just gorge, absolutely gorge. They really were. Um, it's lovely seeing it in different colour combinations. So, yeah, really, really beautiful. Yeah, we'll just put over to this one. There we go. And uh, yeah, so that was a really nice, enjoyable day on Saturday. Like teaching, and uh, 
it's nice to see lots of people there. Um, hi Sheila, how are you lovely? Nikki, you're watching whilst waiting for a delayed flight at Bristol Airport. Oh no, oh hello. Well, I hope it's a bit sunnier out in Spain when you get there than it is here, because frankly, it's blooming horrible. What's happened to spring? I mean, it's May tomorrow. We could do with a little bit of warmth, couldn't we? Right, okay, so we're gonna go back over here and we're just gonna snip those apart and then iron them out like that. There we go. Hi Jane, how are you? What are we making? I am doing a what if block, lovely. <laughs> um, I was explaining at the beginning, uh, obviously with Elaine's funeral yesterday and um, everything, we were just a bit busy yesterday and all day Sunday, so I didn't get a chance to prep anything. I was hoping to get it done Sunday, but we didn't get get a chance to in the end. So I'm doing a block which I'm hoping works. <laughs> I'm hoping it, it works. It's been in my head for a little while, so we're experiment you're experimenting with me. <laughs> there we go. So iron that all out like that. And then what I want to do is I'll match them up. Ooh, so they've got oh come on, stand up iron. My hand doesn't want to stand up. Oh, what is going on? It will not stand up. There we go. I'm gonna match them up so that they're you can see they're all different. So we've got opposites. So I don't I want like those two together and those two together. So I've got no colours the same in each pair. So I'm gonna flip that one so that I nest that seam, make sure they go opposite directions like that. So nesting in that little seam there. And I'm gonna pin it just at the top. And I want these to be square. So they're obviously not at the moment because we cut them and joined them. So they should be, yeah, four and a half. So we're going to cut this down. We're just going to trim off this little bit extra. But I'm doing them together. That's why I've pinned them. So I can do it together. And they're exactly the right size then. Okay. So I've got them like that. So you've got them opposite colours pinned together. Let's do the same on this one. So opposite colours. Pin that together just there. Oh, that seam was a bit wonky because I wasn't concentrating. <laughs> Hi Rachel, hi Karen, how are you? There we go, so let's get this one in like that. Oh, look how, look how bad that seam was. That seam must be way bigger than quarter inch because it doesn't fit, but it's fine. It's fine, I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> I'm not unpicking it, not today. This is experiment one. <laughs> and then again, we're gonna trim that one down to four and a half. Like that, okay. And now I want to, I'm going to half square triangle it. So, um, where's a pen? Where's a pen when you need one? There we go, there's one. So I'm going to go corner to corner like that. Just like, I'm going to treat this like a normal piece of fabric now and we're going to half square them. Like that. And I'm going to stitch quarter inch either side. I'm hoping this is going to, in my head, it's going to come out like double pinwheels that's what I'm hoping for so we'll see we'll see hi Carol how are you later get oh don't worry darling I'm glad you've joined us I'm gonna stitch down quarter an inch either side and let's let's see what block it's gonna come out as so give me a little scant quarter inch down that side Flip it and do it the other way. It's very dark here today, and I don't know why. I've got all my lights on. There we go. Down this side. And then I'm going to do the same on this one. Which will might not quite be big enough because that seems so out, but we're going with it. We're playing, we're experimenting. <laughs> Found that one. So what did you all get up to at the weekend? Anybody do anything exciting? Anybody do anything fun? Down the down the side. Next is going to be in the way. Okay. 
think you could basically you can basically do you could do this with any if it works with any size square. You really can. Okay, back over we go. We'll take that pin out and then we're gonna cut up the drawn line, just like your normal half square triangles, like that. Just cut up that one. And cut up this one. This is gonna be as much a surprise to you to me as you guys. You made a hat with wet felt in. Oh, interesting hat. Oh, we had a lovely lady Pat who used to come and do felting classes at the shop when we had them in this in the shop. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to iron these out. So I'm going to just carefully press that that way. Press this out. There we go. Ooh. Okay, this might work. This might be quite interesting, actually. This I think would be great for scraps. Be a really good scrappy quilt. Oh yes. This is gonna work. Ah, oh, see, I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> yes, yeah, so let's put that one that side maybe. No, because those are the same colours there. Let's do that. Mm, and that's the same colour. Oh, maybe, maybe not. Let's see what we can do. Oh yeah, no, there we go. That's no colour touching then, is it? Let's see if this last one works. And that one out. That goes in there. Yeah, there we go. That's going to create like, like a double pinwheel, isn't it? That's going to work, I think. No, I don't. I wonder if you can make, make it so that those two aren't the same. No, it's fine. I think I'm going to... Mm, I think I, can I do that? No, then they're there then, aren't they? So right, I'm playing with the colours now. I'm trying to get the... And then now you see I've got those long bits there. That's better in the middle. But... Mm, I don't know. See, you can, I'm just going to... I'm getting a bit like, oh, about the colours now. Oh, you can do that as well. So you've got like diagonal, um, what's the word? They're the same there, all different around the outside. You can play, yeah, play around. Uh, do you at your granddaughter's first birthday? Oh, lush, how cute is that? Oh, happy birthday, sweetheart. There we go. Right, actually, I think, just trying to do it so that maybe you haven't got them all in a line, but I don't think, oh, hang on, is that? No, because I've got these back again. <laughs> I don't know. Let's let's just put it together. This I'm I'm messing about too much now. I'm getting I'm worrying too much about the colours. I'd rather have them all the outsides different, I think. I'm not keen on the fact that this has happened. I think prop what I would probably do is make another set and have it really scrappy. I think that's probably what I would do. What time is it? Oh, should we just make if I make another set? We make it let's make another set of four or actually just yeah let's do another four because i want to see what it looks like all together you know different rather so let's have one of those oh look there's an orange let's have those orange birds there let's have a real bright floral um and then like a navy that one and then what have we got in the greens um um, oh actually yeah let's have the green in that not the navy and let's have a little dark navy one right let's really quickly do that whole thing again because they came up quick didn't they one two three and four because i'm gonna obsess too much about the colors on the other ones not being um not being in any pattern so i think i'd want to be like ultra scrappy I mean, you know, if they're not going to be an exact pattern in every block, they need to be scrappy so that I random so I don't think about it too much. <laughs> right, that one goes to the bottom. I'm going to take these over to the machine, sew these up, and we'll we'll see what happens when you mix and match them. I think I might be happy with that. <laughs> okay, so let's go again. So was there 42? We used four per box. You get like 10 blocks. I suppose you could add in some um, 
plain colour as well into it. Some plain, you know, if you bought like a plain charm pack, um, and add that in as well, that might be nice. Or just, you know, if you scraps, cut squares. Um, and you went to Lisa's baby shower, lovely. And Marion, was that you were at 75th birthday gathering? Oh, lush. Well, happy birthday, lots of birthdays. Happy birthday. That one down and this one. Oops. I suppose you could just, if you cut six together rather than four, you'd get a completely scrappy combination as well, wouldn't you? So, let's try that. Sorry, I am rabbiting, but this is because I didn't prep anything, so you're having me experiment on the fly, frankly. <laughs> I am experimenting as I go. So, all right, so put those square ones there. Let's just quickly iron these out and then we'll make some more half squares and see what happens when you do different colors, you know, when you mix the different colors. I think that might make my head happier. <laughs> It'd be a lovely um, baby quilt though, wouldn't it? Really nice and bright and geometric. Okay, so let's put that one against that one, like that, and then uh, that one against uh, that one, like that. Okay, pin in, just to keep that together, draw the line, and away we go again. Let's make some more and see what happens when you mix and match them. So we have, Sarah's got, the next class that's coming up is in, a, oh, actually like 12 days, something like that. We've got a couple of spaces left on the um, Mariner's Compass uh, class, which is on the, the Nelson's Compass, sorry, on the 12th of May. That's a Sunday. That's coming up um, soon. Um, there are a couple of spaces left if anybody wanted to join us on that one. Right, I'm going to stitch down quarter of inch either side on this one. Um, We've also had, over the weekend, had a mad flurry of bookings. Oh, I don't know, what did I do? So we got caught. Oh, no, oh, see, that was good. I was hurrying. Let's put caught. I've got a thread caught there now. Ugh. Booey, come on. There we go. Sorry, two seconds, peeps. I'm just going to have to make sure that thread's not stuck. There we go. Let's try again. Um, got it. <laughs> uh, what was I going to say? Uh, we've had, yeah, a bit of a flurry of bookings for the retreats over the weekend as well. Um, we've had six, six places go on the new November. So if you were thinking about joining us on the new November dates, which are the <coughs> 28th to the 30th, um, that is, they're going fast, so don't wait too long to think about it. We're very, very grateful to all you lovely ladies who support us and come along to the retreats. It seems completely crazy to me that we went from doing one and wor worrying that we were going to fill one to having to do six a year sort of thing. So. <laughs> um. there we go. Nearly there. Okay, let's cut these up and see what happens when we mix and, mix and match them then. Okay, there we go. And what's the pin in that one there? Chop these up, iron these out. And this one as well. Looking forward to Melvin as well. That's going to be, that's going to be a couple of weeks' time. We're going to be be off to Malvin. Uh, let's just iron this one out. There we go. Uh, you have to see our quilt. Your group quilt will be up. If you're coming, please do come and say hello. Right. Okay. 
So I would square these up now before I sewed them together. I'm not going to do that now, but I would absolutely square these up. These are going to come, what are these coming out at? Uh, yeah, four and a half, you'll be able to square that up too. Okay. There we go. Right. Did I say four and a half? Yes, four and a half there, they square up too. So let's try mixing and matching the two different ones. Ah, see, I'm already happier. I already know that's going to be better because <laughs> I'm guaranteed I'm not going to have anything touching. So that for me makes makes me much happier, <laughs> much, much happier. OK, so let's put that one over there. I didn't like the fact that there wasn't a, pat a, a distinct pattern. I'd rather be either completely random or a proper pattern. Half a pattern does not work for me. There we go. That's nice. Uh, yeah, like that. So I, you would just then stitch those together as a full patch. You could put a little bit of sashing or something in between them. Just pull that down a little bit. That's a bit high, isn't it? So you can see them. But yeah, by, I think I would mix and match them. If I was going to do like a whole charm pack of it, I would absolutely mix and match them so that you've got more of a random variation in there. Um, yeah, you, can play it. you can definitely play around with it, try and get it like that oh and then actually if you sew the blocks together you not only get that little internal pinwheel but you get the look you get these lovely stripy diamonds happen there's a uh, you know it's like a secondary pattern which is quite cute isn't it can you put them together any other way let's put them like i suppose you could do them uh, that way there we go let's put them together all the same way what happens then let's just do that a second I mean, you would need more blocks but that's quite interesting as well you're getting all sorts of you know you're getting a different pattern again you can see you're getting oh sorry the camera this new camera has got a much smaller um like lens on it which i didn't realize but actually it's a bit of a pain because but that's quite interesting too. That looks really sort of scrappy and I quite like you getting these sort of like diamond shapes and all happening in there. You know, so lots and lots of things that you can play around with. Is the quilt sewn together? You oh, right, sorry, I lost so many comments. Uh, it is all, I've almost finished it. It's all, it's near, it will be ready. It will absolutely be ready, uh, Eileen. Um, oh, thanks, Claire. Yeah, it's something to play around with. It's one of those things that have been in my head. I need to play with. Um, hi Carrie, don't worry darling. Um, hi Anne, lovely. It looks like random flying geese. Yeah, you know, you can, like I said, it's one of those things I was like, right, if you do this, cut into it, what happens? So it'd look better when it's all fully pressed and, <coughs> excuse me, pressed together and sewn, but I would, I'll square these up, I think, um, and put them together. Um, but I quite like the little pinwheel thing. I think I like that. That's quite an interesting little block as well, just doing that. You know, having some facing inwards, some facing outwards. Again, play around with it, okay? So, sorry that was a little bit hit and miss, <laughs> but I didn't have time to prep anything, so I thought we'd just have a little play with some fabric, see what happens. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow at seven with a little crossbody bag. We're going to do a little mini crossbody bag. Um, so we're going to do that tomorrow night. That is all sorted. I had that sorted already. It's just this I haven't. So we'll be fine for that. Um, and then Sarah will be back on Thursday. So I will see you then. Um, I'll be back online in a bit and we'll do the challenge post. Um, I'm going to go back over the shop and we'll, we'll draw that over there. I'll come back live and do that. Okay. So, um, I'll see you all in a bit. Take care. Bye.